ಶ್ರೀ ಅರಬಿಂದೋಸ್ ಸಾವಿತ್ರಿ ಬುಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ವಿಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಬೂನ್ in this canto ashwapati prays to the divine mother for a divine life to all beings on this earth the divine mother says that the earth and men are not yet ready for such a transformation but after several pleadings and prayers by ashwapati on behalf of the earthlings the divine mother is moved by his pure love to the earth kind and grants the boon blessing that a ray of her own force will descend to earth and what more as ashwapati's own daughter itself who would change the fate of earth by an unchanging will thus takes place the divine birth of savitri which will transform earth similar to that of heaven and earthly life to the life divine Suddenly there rose a sacred stir amid the lifeless silence of the void in a solitude and an immensity a sound came quivering like a loud footfall heard in the listening spaces of the soul a touch perturbed his fibers with delight an influence had approached the mortal range a boundless heart was near his longing heart a mystic form enveloped his earthly shape all at her contact broke from silence seal spirit and body thrilled identified linked in the grasp of an unspoken joy mind members life were merged in ecstasy intoxicated as with nectarous rain 
His nature's passioning stretches flow to her flashing with lightnings mad with luminous wine all was a limitless sea that heaved to the moon a divinizing stream possessed his veins his body's cells awoke to spirit sense each nerve became a burning thread of joy tissue and flesh partook beatitude alight the dun and plumbed subconscient caves thrilled with the prescience of her longed for tread and filled with flickering crests and praying tongues even lost in slumber mute inanimate his very body answered to her power the one he worshiped was within him now flame pure ethereal crest a mighty face appeared and lips moved by immortal words lids wisdom leaves drooped over raptures orbs a marble monument of ponderings shone a forehead sight script and large like ocean's gaze towards heaven two tranquil eyes of boundless thought looked into man's and saw the god to come A shape was seen on threshold mind a voice absolute and wise in the heart's chambers spoke at the eternal doors what thou hast won is thine but ask no more o spirit aspiring in an ignorant frame o voice arisen from the inconscient world how shalt thou speak for men whose hearts are dumb make purblind earth the soul's 
सी अ विजन्स होम और लाइट इन द बर्डन ऑफ द सेंसलेस ग्लोब आई एम द मिस्टरी बियॉन्ड रीच ऑफ माइंड आई एम द गोल ऑफ द ट्रेवल ऑफ द सन्स माई फायर एंड स्वीटनेस आर द कॉज ऑफ लाइफ बट टू इमेंस माई डेंजर एंड माई जॉय अवेक नॉट द इमेजरेबल डिसेंट स्पीक नॉट my secret name to hostile time man is too weak to bear the infinite weight truth born too soon might break the imperfect earth leave the all seeing power to hew its way in thy single vast achievement reign apart helping the world with thy great lonely days i ask thee not to merge thy heart of flame in the immobile wide uncaring bliss turn from the fruitless motion of the years deserting the fierce labor of the worlds aloof from beings lost in the alone how shall thy mighty spirit brook repose while death is still unconquered on the earth and time a field of suffering and pain thy soul was born to share the laden force obey thy nature and fulfill thy fate accept the difficulty and god like toil for the slow paced omniscient purpose live the enigmas not is tied in human kind Enlightening from the heights that think and plan, blowing the air of life with vanishing trails, man, soul awake in an unconscious world, aspires in vain to change the cosmic dream, arrived from some. half luminous beyond he is a stranger in the mindless wastes a traveler in his oft shifting home amid the tread of many infinite tutes he has pitched a tent of life in desert space heavens fixed regard beholds him from above 
in the house of nature a perturbing guest a voyager twixt thoughts inconstant shores a hunter of unknown and beautiful powers a nomad of the far mysterious light in the wide ways a little spark of god against his spirit all is in dire league a titan influence stops his godward gaze around him hungers the unpitying void the eternal darkness seeks him with her hands inscrutable energies drive him and deceive immense implacable deities oppose an inert soul and a somnambulist force have made a world estranged from life and thought <laughs> the dragon of the dark foundation keeps unalterable the law of chance and death on his long way through time and circumstance the gray hued riddling nether shadow swings her dreadful paws upon the swallowing sands awaits him armed with the soul slaying word across his path sits the dim camp of night <laughs>
His day is a moment in perpetual time. He is the prey of the minutes and the hours, assailed on earth and unassured of heaven. Descended here, unhappy and sublime, a link between the demigod and the beast. He knows not his own greatness nor his aim. He has forgotten why he has come and whence. His spirit. and his members are at war his heights break off to low to reach the skies his mass is buried in the animal mire a strange antinomy is his nature's rule a riddle of opposites is made his field freedom he asks but needs to live in bonds he has need of darkness to perceive some light and need of grief to feel a little bliss he has need of death to find a greater life he sees and turns to every call he has no certain light by which to walk his life is a blind man's buff a hide and seek he seeks himself and from himself he runs meeting himself he thinks it other than he always he builds but finds no constant ground always he journeys but nowhere arrives he could guide the world himself he cannot guide he would save his soul his life he cannot save the light his soul has brought his mind has lost all he has learned is soon again in doubt a sun to him seems the shadow of his thoughts then all his shadow again and nothing is true unknowing what he does or whither he tends he fabricates signs of the real in ignorance He has hitched his mortal error to truth's star. Wisdom attracts him with her luminous masks, but never has he seen the face behind. A giant ignorance surrounds his lore. <laughs> assigned to meet the cosmic mystery in the dumb figure of a material world his passport of entry falls and his personage he is compelled to be what he is not he obeys the inconscience he has come to rule and sings in matter to fulfill his soul awakened from her lower driven forms the earth mother gave her forces to his hands and painfully 
he guides the heavy trust his mind is a lost torch bearer on her roads illumining breath to think and plasm to feel he labors with his slow and skeptic brain helped by the reason's vacillating fires to make his thought and will a magic door for knowledge to enter the darkness of the world and love to rule a realm of strife and hate a mind impotent to reconcile heaven and earth and tied to matter with a thousand bonds he lifts himself to be a conscious god even when a glory of wisdom crowns his brow when mind and spirit shed a grandiose ray to exalt his product of this sperm and gene this alchemist's miracle from plasm and gas and he who shared the animals run and crawl lifts his thought stature to the immortal's heights his life still keeps the human middle way his body he resigns to death and pain abandoning matter his too heavy charge <laughs> skeptic of miracles a spirit left sterile of its occult power by an unbelieving brain and credulous heart he leaves the world to end where it began his work unfinished 
he claims a heavenly prize thus has he missed creation's absolute halfway he stops his star of destiny a vast and vain long tried experiment and ill served high conception doubtfully done the world's life falters on not seeing its goal a zigzag towards unknown dangerous ground ever repeating its habitual walk ever retreating after marches long and hardiest victories without sure result drawn endlessly and inconclusive game in an ill-fitting and voluminous robe a radiant purpose still conceals its face a mighty blindness stumbles hoping on feeding its strength on gifts of luminous chance because the human instrument has failed the godhead frustrate sleeps within its seat a spirit entangled in the forms it made his failure is not failure whom god leads through all this slow mysterious march goes on an immutable power has made this mutable world a self fulfilling transcendence treads man's road <laughs> the driver of the soul upon its path it knows its steps its way is inevitable and how shall the end be vain when god is guide however man's mind may tire or fail his flesh a will prevails cancelling his conscious choice the goal recedes a boundless vastness calls retreating into an immense unknown there is no end to the world's stupendous march there is no rest for the embodied soul it must live on describe all times huge go an inflex presses from the closed beyond forbidding to him rest and earthly ease 
Till he has found himself, he cannot pause. A light there is that leads, a power that aids, unmarked, unfelt. It sees in him and acts. Ignorant, he forms the all conscient in his depths. Human looks up to superhuman peaks. A borrower of supernature's gold, he paves his road to immortality. <laughs> The high gods look on man and watch and choose today's impossibles for the future's base. His transience trembles with the eternal's touch. His barriers seed beneath the infinite's tread. The immortals have their entries in his life. The ambassadors of the unseen draw near, a splendor sullied by the mortal air. Love passes through his heart, a wandering guest. Beauty surrounds him for a magic hour. He has visits of a large revealing joy. Brief widenesses. Release him from himself, enticing towards a glory ever in front. Hopes of a deathless sweetness lure and leave. His mind is crossed by strange discovering fires. Rare intimations lift his stumbling speech. To a moment's kinship with the eternal word, a mask of wisdom circles through his brain, perturbing him with glimpses half divine. He lays his hands sometimes on the unknown. He communes sometimes with eternity. A strange. And grandiose symbol was his birth, and immortality and spirit room, and pure perfection and a shadowless bliss. All this afflicted creatures, mighty fate, in him the Earth Mother sees, draw near the change. Foreshadowed in her dumb and fiery depths, a godhead drawn from her transmuted limbs, an alchemy of heaven on nature's base. <laughs> depth of the self-born unfailing line leave not the light to die the ages bore help still humanity's 
blind and suffering life obey thy spirit's wide omnipotent urge it leaned compassionate from immortal calm and housed desire the troubled seed of things ascent to thy high self create endure cease not from knowledge let thy toil be vast no more in earthly limits pen thy force equal thy work with long unending times traveler upon the bare eternal heights tread still the difficult and deadless path joining the cycles with its austere curve measured for man by the initiate gods my light shall be in thee my strength thy force let not the impatient titan drive thy heart ask not the imperfect fruit the partial price only one boon to great in thy spirit demand only one joy to raise thy kind desire above blind fate and the antagonist powers moveless there stands a high unchanging will to its omnipotence leave thy works result all things shall change in god's transfiguring hour august and sweet sank hushed that mighty voice nothing now moved in the vast brooding space a stillness came upon the listening world a mute immensity of the eternals peace but ashwapati's heart replied to her a cry amid the silence of the vast how 
shall I rest content with mortal days and the dull measure of terrestrial things? I who have seen behind the cosmic mask the glory and the beauty of thy face. Hard is the doom to which thou bindest thy sons. How long shall our spirits battle with the night and bear defeat and the brute yoke of death? He who are vessels of a deathless force and builders of the Godhead of the rains. Or if it is thy work I do below amid the error and waste of human life. In the vague light of man's half-conscious mind why breaks not in some distant gleam of thee ever the centuries and millenniums pass where in the grayness is thy coming's ray where is the thunder of thy victory's wings only we hear the feet of passing gods. A plan in the occult, eternal mind, mapped out to backward and prophetic sight, the eons ever repeat their changeless round, the cycles all rebuild and ever aspire. All we have done is ever still to do. All breaks and all renews and is the same. Huge revolutions of life's fruitless gyre. The newborn ages perish like the old as if the sad enigma kept its right till all is done for which this scene was made too little the strength that now with us is born too faint the light that steals through nature's lids too scant the joy with which she buys our pain in a brute world that knows not its own sense thought racked upon the wheel of birth we live the instruments of an impulse not our own Move to achieve with our hearts blood for prize. Half knowledge, half creations that soon tire. <laughs> A foiled immortal soul in perishing limbs, Baffled and beaten back, we labor still. Unnulled, frustrated, spent, we still survive. In anguish we labor that from us may rise. A larger seeing man with nobler heart. A golden vessel of the incarnate 
truth the executor of the divine attempt equipped to wear the earthly body of god communicant and prophet and lover and king i know that thy creation cannot fail for even through the mists of mortal thought infallible are thy mysterious steps and though necessity dons the garb of chance hidden in the blind shifts of fate she keeps the slow calm logic of infinity's pace and the inviolate sequence of its will all life is fixed in an ascending scale and adamantine is the evolving law in the beginning is prepared the close this strange irrational product of the mire this compromise between the beast and god is not the crown of thy miraculous world i know there shall inform the inconscient cells at one with nature and at height with heaven a spirit vast as the containing sky and swept with ecstasy from invisible founts a god come down and greater by the fall a power arose out of my slumbers Abandoning the tardy limp of the hours and the inconstant blink of mortal sight, there where the thinker sleeps in too much light and intolerant flames, the lone all witnessing eye, hearing the word of fate. from silence heart in the endless moment of eternity it saw from timelessness the works of time overpassed were the leaden formulas of the mind overpowered the obstacle of mortal space the unfolding image showed the things to come a giant dance of shiva tore the past there was a thunder as of worlds that fall earth was overrun with fire and the roar of death 
clamoring to slay a world his hunger had made there was a clangor of destruction's wings the titans battle cry was in my ears alarm and rumor shook the armored night I saw the omnipotence flaming pioneers over the heavenly verge which turns towards life come crowding down the amber stairs of birth for runners of a divine multitude out of the paths of the morning star they came into the little room of mortal life i saw them cross the twilight of an age the sun eyed children of a marvelous dawn the great creators with wide brows of calm the massive barrier breakers of the world and wrestlers with destiny in her lists of will the laborers in the quarries of the gods the messengers of the incommunicable the architects of immortality <laughs> into the fallen human spear they came faces that wore the immortal's glory still voices that commune still with the thoughts of god bodies made beautiful by the spirit's light carrying the magic word the mystic fire carrying the dionysian cup of joy approaching eyes of a diviner man lips chanting an unknown anthem of the soul feet echoing in the corridors of time high priests of wisdom sweetness might and bliss discoverers of beauty's sunlit ways and swimmers of love's laughing fiery floods and dancers within rapture's golden doors their tread 
one day shall change the suffering earth and justify the light on nature's face although fate lingers in the high beyond and the work seems vain on which our hearts force was spent all shall be done for which our pain was born even as of old man came behind the beast this high divine successor surely shall come behind man's inefficient mortal pace behind his vain labor sweat and blood and tears he shall know what mortal mind barely durst think he shall do what the heart of the mortal could not dare inheritor of the toil of human time he shall take on him the burden of the gods all heavenly light shall visit the earth's thoughts the might of heaven shall fortify earthly hearts earth's deeds shall touch the superhuman's height earth's seeing widen into the infinite heavy unchanged ways still the imperfect world the splendid youth of time has passed and failed heavy and long are the years our labor counts and still the seals are firm upon man's soul and weary is the ancient mother's heart o truth defended in thy secret son voice of her mighty musings in shut heavens on things withdrawn within her luminous depths o wisdom splendor mother of the universe creatrix the eternal's artist bride linger not long with thy transmuting hand pressed vainly on one golden bar of time as if time dare not open its heart to god o radiant fountain of the world's delight world free and unattainable above o bliss who ever dwells deep hid within while men seek the outside and never find mystery and muse with hieratic tongue 
incarnate the white passion of thy force mission to earth some living form of thee one moment fill with thy eternity let thy infinity in one body live all knowledge wrap one mind in seas of light all love throb single in one human heart immortal treading the earth with mortal feet all heavens beauty crowd in earthly limbs omnipotence girdle with the power of god movements and moments of a mortal will pack with the eternal might one human hour and with one gesture change all future time let a great word be spoken from the heights and one great act unlock the doors of fate His prayer sank down in the resisting night oppressed by the thousand forces that deny as if too weak to climb to the supreme but there arose a white consenting voice the spirit of beauty was revealed in sound light floated around the marvelous visions pro and on her lips the immortals joy took shape <laughs> descend and break the iron law change nature's doom by the lone spirit's power a limitless mind that can contain the world a sweet and violent heart of ardent comes moved by the passions of the gods shall come all mights and greatnesses shall join in her beauty shall walk celestial on the earth delight shall sleep in the cloud net of her hair and in her body as on his homing tree immortal love shall be at his glorious wings 
a music of griefless things shall weave her charm the harps of the perfect shall attune her voice the streams of heaven shall murmur in her love her lips shall be the honeycombs of god her limbs his golden jars of ecstasy her breasts the rapture flowers of paradise she shall bear wisdom in her voiceless bosom strength shall be with her like a conqueror's sword and from her eyes the eternal's bliss shall gaze a seed shall be sown in death's tremendous hour a branch of heaven transplant to human soil nature shall overleap her mortal step fate shall be changed by an unchanging will the flame disappears in endless light immortally extinguished in its source vanished the splendor and was still the world an echo of delight that once was close the harmony journeyed towards some distant hush a music failing in the ear of trance a cadence called by distant cadences a voice that trembled into strains withdrawn her form retreated from the longing earth forsaking nearness to the abandoned sense ascending to her unattainable home lone brilliant vacant lay the inner fields all was unfilled in ordinate spirit space indifferent waste a desert of bright peace then a line moved on the far edge of calm the warm lipped sentient soft terrestrial wave a quick and many murmured moan and laugh came gliding in upon white feet of sound unlocked was the deep glory of silence heart the absolute unmoving stillnesses surrendered to the breath of mortal air dissolving boundlessly the heavens of trance collapsed to waking mind 
eternity cast down its incommunicable lids over its solitudes remote from ken behind the voiceless mystery of sleep the grandiose respite failed the wide release across the light of fast receding planes that fled from him as from a falling star compelled to fill his human house in time his soul drew back into the speed and noise of the vast business of created things a chariot of the marvels of the heavens broad based to bear the gods on fiery wheels flaming he swept through the spiritual gates the mortal still received him in its midst once more he moved amid material scenes lifted by the intimations from the heights and twixt the pauses of the building brain touched by the thoughts that skim the fathomless surge of nature and wing back to hidden shores the eternal seeker in the eonic field besieged by the intolerant press of hours again was strong for great swift footed deeds awake beneath the ignorant vault of night he saw the unnumbered people of the stars and heard the questioning of the unsatisfied flood and toiled with the form maker measuring mind a wanderer from the occult invisible suns accomplishing the fate of transient things a god in the figure of the arisen beast he raised his brow of conquest to the heavens establishing the empire of the soul on matter and its bounded universe as on a solid rock in infinite seas the lord of life resumed his mighty rounds in the scant field of the ambiguous globe <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.